What's cooking, good looking? Nothing yet, but just wait until I'm done with you. I'm back today with not a makeup video. Listen, listen, listen. I thought more than anything that I was gonna come back with some type of makeup video, but you see what ha happened was I got really into working out and eating well and doing all of that. I had a voice inside my head that was like, Irina, you gotta cook your food and you gotta share with your friends. I share a lot of what I eat on Snapchat. In the last few videos, I've shared a few recipes and I feel like you guys were super jazzed about it. So I thought, why not just dedicate a video to three, three super quick, super easy, clean meals, especially if you're trying to get back on track with your eating and your fitness, or if you're like me and you're trying to chase that 25 year old body. I'm a couple weeks away from being 30 and I look back at pictures of myself thanks to fucking Facebook memories <laughs> of when I was 25 and I was lean and I was muscular and I was in my prime physique wise. And I remember back then like shitting on myself and thinking I could do better and I hadn't reached the peak of my physique. But now that I'm almost 30, I'm looking back on it and you know, that body's looking pretty good, especially since every single time I find myself getting way back into the swing of things with fitness and eating, something happens. In my case now, I had two moles removed on my back. So I've had like, stitches in my back for the last two weeks, which completely threw me off and it was just as I was getting into it again. It takes me usually about four or five weeks of intense training and eating well. So getting back into it, if you're getting back into it, let's do it together. These three recipes are quick and easy and they're perfect for when you're starving and you wanna literally inhale anything. And usually when I'm in that state of mind, my personal favorite thing to do is throw some chicken strips and french fries in the oven or even better, waffle fries, which is such a bad decision, but I like go into a blind Hunger. Also great when you're tired, you know, or you don't have a lot of time. These are great to take with you the next day. Also great when you're just lazy as fuck. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, let's get cooking. Welcome to Kevin Cook Stuff in the Office. I am your host, Irina. Okay, so these are zucchini boats. I've kind of added a little twist to them. They are so tasty and they're perfect if you're shredding. For this recipe, you're gonna need three zucchinis, a quarter of a yellow onion, two teaspoons of garlic puree, half a cup of tomato sauce. I like the tomato basil one from Trader Joe's, but any will do. One pack of cauliflower veggie grounds. These are the ones that I love and I've talked about them before. Half a cup of Beyond Beef Beefy Crumbles, which is a meatless plant-based ground beef, super high in protein, and a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. So first I'm gonna slice my zucchinis down the center and gut them with an ice cream scoop. I take whatever I scoop out and set it aside in a bowl. Uh, the zucchini pulp is gonna be the base of our filling. I'm not scooping all the way down to the bottom. I still want the zucchini to have like a good foundation so it holds all the filling inside of it. I'm also not scooping all the way to the edge. I don't want the filling to spill out so I gotta have a strong edge, you know? So now I'm gonna take all of that zucchini pulp and I'm gonna chop it up. Not too big, not too small, just enough so that it will all cook evenly. The zucchini has a lot of water in it so it'll end up cooking down anyway. Onto the filling. I'm starting out with some extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon should be good. And I'm gonna saute my onions and my garlic, make them sweat a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my Beyond Beef beefy crumbles, which are frozen. So I want those to cook down a little bit too and sort of de-thaw, get to know the onions a little bit. Once that's nicely cooked down, I'm gonna pour in all of my zucchini pulp. I'm gonna add some uh, pink Himalayan salt and pepper. I'm gonna stir everything together and I'm just gonna allow it to cook down a little bit. Next, I'm gonna add my cauliflower crumble, which is just absolutely packed with flavor. And I'm gonna do another quick stir. I love this stuff so much. It's great for tacos and chili. I also like to sometimes add it on top of my salad. I'm adding my tomato sauce, stirring that in. Fun fact, I was about to say that I was blending it in. Clearly, I've got a makeup tutorial on the brain. And lastly, I'm adding my nutritional yeast and also stirring that in. This is gonna give the filling a nutty, cheesy flavor and it's super good for you. Quick little taste test, tastes bomb. And now I'm gonna preheat my oven. While the oven preheats, I'm gonna stuff my zucchinis. I'm not understuffing them, but I'm not overstuffing them because they will shrink in the oven a little bit and I don't want the filling pouring out.
Once I'm out of stuffing, I'm going to place them on a baking sheet and throw it in the oven for 25 minutes until the zucchinis are soft. Then I'm gonna broil them for an additional three minutes on low, just to get a little golden brown action happening on the top. And voila, low carb, high protein, delicious zucchini boats. Fancy as fuck plating with my little tropical leaf in the corner, you know, just trying to make my boy Gordon Ramsay proud. FYI, I can crush like four of these in one sitting easily, and I have zero guilt. Alrighty, moving on. We're gonna make some Vietnamese spring rolls, which are both easy and delicious. I'm gonna need to boil some water, so I gotta fill up my kettle. I'm going to accept the fact that Chris is a pervert, and I'm gonna get on to prepping my ingredients. Today, I'm gonna fill mine with baby spinach, avocado, some carrot, red cabbage, cucumber, radishes, and a little green onion. Bam, check that shit out. So I'm gonna grab my rice paper. You can find this at pretty much any grocery store. And I'm gonna put it in a glass dish and I'm gonna pour some warm water over top. Let these bad boys soak for about a minute. The instructions on the package say 10 seconds, but that is a goddamn lie. You want them to get nice and soft and stretchy like this. And then you wanna lay them flat on a clean surface and stuff them with your veggies. You don't wanna overstuff them, but you don't wanna understuff them. You can put anything you want in them, but this is all I had in the fridge. Tofu would be delicious, vermicelli noodles would be delicious, prawns, you do you. For video purposes, I didn't stuff mine nearly as much as I normally would because I wanted to make them look pretty for you guys and because I had long ass nails that would tear through the rice paper if I was trying too hard to roll them up. So be careful when folding, especially if you have long nails. So I just lay my ingredients down, fold one side, then the other, then carefully roll and try not to Freddy Krueger the shit out of them with my nails. I trimmed off the excess rice paper for presentation purposes so that you could see the veggies, but when I make them bigger, I don't have to do this. This meal is great when you want to crush like, I don't know, 10 rolls of sushi, but you don't want to hate yourself after, if you know what I'm saying. This made about four rolls, but Chris snuck one off camera and ate it. What else is new? The dipping sauce is my favorite part of eating these. I start out with a quarter cup of PB2, which is like a peanut butter powder. It has way less fat than regular peanut butter. A splash of water, which ended up not being a splash at all. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic puree, two tablespoons of tamari or regular soy sauce, a few drops of sesame oil, a little bit of honey or maple syrup if you're vegan, and some red chili pepper flakes for some heat. I ended up adding just a little bit more PB2 too because it was way too watery for my liking. And there we have meal number two, bone apple teeth. I'm gonna finish this video off with a delicious salad and a homemade dressing that I love. This is my absolute go-to. It's super easy and it keeps me full. So I pre-prepped the rice in advance, about one cup in the rice cooker. I would highly suggest you use a rice cooker as well so that the rice is ready for you and you're not waiting around. I'm gonna prep my veggies. You can also do this in advance and just keep them in the fridge ready to go. Today I'm doing cucumber, red cabbage, red onion, radishes, and carrot shavings. Pretty much a repeat of my spring rolls, but in salad form with brown rice. I also like to add butternut squash and beets to this, but I didn't have any on hand. I'm also gonna add some organic chickpeas to the salad for some protein, and I make sure to thoroughly rinse these beforehand. They can actually make you really gassy if you don't rinse them. Sometimes I like to toast these and make them into croutons, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Onto the star of this meal, which is my dressing, which I could just like bathe myself in, to be honest. We're gonna squeeze the juice of one lemon, and then we're gonna use two tablespoons of that lemon in our dressing. To that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of water, a few drops of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of garlic puree, two heaping tablespoons of organic tahini, some pepper, a little cayenne, and about a teaspoon of freshly chopped parsley. So I'm gonna mix those together and I'm gonna set it aside so that the ingredients can get to know each other a little bit and I'm going to assemble my salad. I'm gonna scoop some brown rice onto the bottom of my salad bowl. 
throw in a handful of romaine lettuce, two very generous handfuls of spinach. I also really like adding arugula to this, but I ran out. A handful of cabbage, cucumber, radishes, red onion, and carrot shavings. Then I take a good serving of chickpeas and sprinkle them over top. Hit it with a little bit more heat from that cayenne and finish it all off with that delicious ass lemon tahini dressing. Boom, meal three is complete. I am extremely hungry right now. All right, we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed those three recipes. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to continue this series and maybe do breakfast, lunch, snacks, dessert. I have a huge sweet tooth. Pretty much as soon as I'm done eating dinner, I need sweets. I'll eat a healthy dinner so I can have dessert. Eating clean for me is like 80% of the struggle when it comes to getting into the swing of things, sticking to a clean diet, and actually seeing results in my body. I will be sharing um, more recipes and things like that on Snapchat. And when my heart is in it, I'll get back to doing makeup videos. But right now, my insides, they're not feeling so hot, so unless I'm feeling great on the inside, nothing is gonna make me feel better on the outside. And I haven't really been preoccupied with makeup and getting my creative juices flowing because I've been in this state of like, bleh. I gotta get this on track and then I'll get back to being my normal creative self. Like the juices, the creative juices, they are not flowing right now. So we gotta get them flowing, the juices. That's what she said. If you guys wanna see a makeup tutorial, what I can do is film my current sort of everyday makeup. It's what I have on my face right now. It's what I wear to work every day. Everything on my face right now is different from what I was using in previous videos. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. I think that is everything that I have to say for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Good luck with your fitness goals. And just remember, you and I, we're in this together. We're in this together. Okay, love you, bye.